What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be drawing only using my mouse and the pencil tool. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and drag and drop your picture go ahead and get it the size you want it we're gonna make ours big enough so it'll be kind of easier to work with drop the opacity down and we're gonna lock that layer create you a new layer then we're gonna come over here to our pencil tool double click onto it you're gonna set your pencil just like I got mine you want to hit ok you want to move this color to the top you want to move black to the top and you want to lock the bottom color and now we're gonna zoom close as we can and the method we're gonna use you gotta have kind of a steady hand See the uh, pencil tool, like how we got it set. It's gonna, it's gonna fill in the closed area. You know what I'm saying? So if you make you a line, you gotta come, you gotta come back just like that, and then it close it off for you. And that's how we're gonna do the line work for this piece right here. We're just gonna zoom in. Gonna take our time. Just gonna follow along with these pixels right here. I'll do the same thing on this side. Just follow along with the pixels. Come back with a steady hand. stop right here so the line and just make it sharp so that's a pretty good nose just using your mouse and the pencil tool so now we're gonna come up gonna add the details in the face okay that's a good one
together slowly but surely all you really gotta do is just kind of take your time and concentrate to make some some pretty good lines with your pencil tool using the mouse and you gotta kind of go slow area so I ain't gotta worry about taking So you get the hang of it, the closer you zoom in on the picture, the easier it will be to make the lines. Or you have more control, so try to zoom in as close as you can. And the more you start using your mouse, you'll get the hang of having control as well. But until you get certain lines how you want it, just keep hitting Control and Z to delete. And keep doing it over until you finally get lines exactly how you want it to look. So this is coming out pretty good. Now we're going to fill in. I'm going to try to fill in this big area right here. We'll come back and add the details after. Go ahead and fill this portion in. Okay. And sometimes you'll you'll have things like this happen where your lines try to correct too much. You can just come back and do a little. That's why I make short stops like very short stops inside the art because a lot of times my line try to correct too much Thank you. 
up back a little bit, see how it's looking. Okay, it's coming together. Going to this part right here. Finish the hair. It's very time consuming, but it's worth it at the end. You get some nice, nice artwork just using your mouse if you take your time. detail of the ear get more comfortable with the mouse and that'll come with some just some time using it and uh, some practice stretching away from my mouse. hair effect with the mouse I'm gonna come over here a little bit I'm gonna do the same I'm just gonna stretch away I'm just pressing down on my mouse hard and I'm just kind of shaking it back and forth One make up the little hair fit
so we can close that bottom loop off. Now that we finished with the line work, what you want to do is you want to highlight everything. Using your selection tool from the object, expand. Then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so we can make all our lines one. After you do that, you want to drag the line work layer down to this blank sheet of paper and you want to lock the top copy select the, the copyright under it that we just made you want to come to your rectangle tool you want to uh, okay, trying to get the color chart out can't find it but anyway you can come right here Find you a nice base color to start out with. Drag that color over the entire picture with your rectangle tool. Then you wanna right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. After you do that, you wanna highlight everything once again you want to hit merge so now we just made the line work become one with the color now we're going to right click onto it and click isolate select select the group we're going to delete this outer color we don't need We're gonna go ahead and hit this drop down menu. Hit it one more time. And we're gonna stroll down to our last black line work. And we're gonna lock all the black line work. Just lock all that. Unlock the top two. And close it back. So we won't make a mistake and select the line work while we're trying to select the uh, different groups. Okay, we're gonna color these lips. Isolate, select group. Let's go ahead and find the base color for everything. Thank you. 
that we got a good base color, what we're gonna do, we're gonna tweak it a little bit. So we're gonna highlight everything. And what I like to do is come to edit color, adjust color balance, preview. We're gonna try to make it a little darker. I say on um, most of my videos we're gonna start with the dark shadows then we're gonna start with our mid tones and then we're just gonna keep adding new layers like we're gonna keep our dark shadows on one layer we're gonna keep our mid shadows on one layer and then we're gonna keep you know the highlights on another layer and we're just gonna keep stacking but I'll always put everything under Every time you add a shadow layer, put it under, and you wanna go from dark to light. And you're trying to copy exactly how I do it, so. Go back to our pencil tool. Okay, that was my dark shadow layer. And I'm finna create a new layer right under that. And I'm finna go a little lighter for my dark shadows for my mid tone. Let's jump right into it. Thank you. 
Okay, it's time to create another layer. So we finna go under our mid-tones. And we finna do the highlights. So let's jump right into it. Unlock our color layers, even our base color layer. And we're gonna highlight it. We're gonna go to edit, edit color, color harmony. Go to all. We just gonna tweak some of our tweak some of our colors. There you have it, you guys, how to draw using your mouse and the pencil tool only. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.